To me, that's one of the best parts about hospice. Lots of times people have been in the hospital and they've been subjected to hospital food or they have been on some kind of a restrictive diet like diabetic or sodium or fluid restriction. Let me tell you a story about my dad. This is my dad holding me as a baby. Wasn't I cute? My dad was a successful Navy jet mechanic and later a Boeing manager. But as a child, he grew up poor in Texas and was often deprived of food. So as an adult, he loved to eat. 12 years ago at the age of 69, he developed a terminal lung condition. You can see he's holding a cigarette in that picture. Part of his treatment was steroids, which caused him to develop medication-induced diabetes. And then eventually he landed in the hospital because of his condition. Not only was he subjected to hospital garbage food, it was a diabetic diet that they put him on. And because of another condition he developed, they made him be on a fluid restriction as well. My dad was miserable. He was miserable. He was hungry and he was thirsty. Despite my constantly questioning the doctors about whether or not it was time for a hospice referral, they kept saying they thought he was gonna get better. And when he finally crumped and ended up in the ICU, they agreed that we could get a hospice referral. As soon as my dad signed those admission papers to hospice, my sister and I jumped into action. We went out and got him a big old Starbucks. Then we went to the Golden Corral, which is an all-you-can-eat buffet, and we got him dinner to go. Barbecued ribs, chicken, roast beef, meatloaf, turkey, a cheeseburger, and a salad for my mom because she's a tiny little health food nut. My parents ate dinner together that night. My dad was in heaven. He loved every bit of that food and he ate every bite. We were so happy that we were able to do that for my dad because as it turned out, that was his last meal. Seven hours later, suddenly and quite unexpectedly, my dad died. As people get closer to the end of their life, they usually aren't very hungry anymore and they don't wanna eat very much. And that's why it's so important when they do want to eat to be able to let them have whatever they want.